Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be unboxing the new YSL Advent Calendar for 2023. I got it from Selfridges for $275 and I'm not sure what the US retail value is yet because it has not released in the US, unfortunately yet as I'm filming this. Last year it retailed in the US for $350 and I got it from Selfridges for $220. So I got it this year for $275, so it's gone up a bit. The claimed value is the equivalent of $506. And this is historically one of my favorite advent calendars. I just love the design. I think it's very pretty. This is it. It comes always with a sleeve. This came very nicely packaged from Selfridges. And we'll go ahead and unbox it the sleeve comes up here and then we have a very cute little gold snowflake design with the YSL logo and I always love how this opens up very pretty like this it has this little piece of paper that just slips out to protect it the back of the cardboard sleeve tells you what's inside if you want some spoilers. I typically don't like to spoil it for myself, but I did get a sneak peek and I like the freebie, like the little bonus freebie gift that's inside. But okay, this is it opened up. We have the snowflake design kind of spread out this way. So it's nice because then you know right away where the boxes go. Okay, let's start with day one. You have the number one in gold foil and we have in here wrapped in tissue paper. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm not sure if this is a new lipstick design, but I haven't seen this packaging. This is similar to the Lieb perfume where the YSL logo wraps around, but in this case, the tube is gold and then the YSL logo is black. So kind of like the Myself cologne. So this is a Rouge Pour Couture lipstick. So I guess I just redid the packaging because I have tried this before, but it was a different package anyway. So here we have a neutral color. I can't read. I don't think there's a name on here. So I'll go ahead and start swatching it for you guys so you can see, but it's a nice, like a nude mauve-ish, not too bright red. This is a very wearable color for me. Okay, day two is right here. We have a bigger box. Day two also wrapped in black tissue paper. Looks like a stick product liner possibly. So for day two, we have the waterproof eye pencil in black. I think I have liked their black eyeliners. Very dark, very matte, not too drying and pretty creamy, but it's not slipping and sliding all over the place. So I will definitely use this. Day three is up here in the corner. We have a perfume and this is the black opium Eau de Parfum. This is one of their OGs. They've come out with a few flankers since then. There's like a new, I think the newest one is a greenish like earthy version but this is the original and i really like this this has a really strong coffee note so if you like coffee if you like very seductive fragrances for nighttime this is a, a very sensual sensual perfume like a going out perfume day four is here day four we have in here wrapped up it looks like another mini lipstick and this is my favorite formula from YSL. Don't know what lipstick, it just says lipstick. I'm not sure what shade, the name of the shade or number, but it's a very like kind of like a bright coral red. I remember one year they did like the brightest colors <laughs> and it was the first year of COVID. So I was like, who, who's wearing these colors? It was like purple and orange. Anyway, oh, that's actually very pretty. Very nice for springtime. So this is like a satiny formula. I don't know if this is the Rouge Volupt. It looks like the tube, but I'm not sure. It just says Rouge lipstick. Day five is this large box here in the center. And we have, it looks like it's a full size. So for day five, we have a full size of the Slim Velvet Radical in, I believe this is shade 21. So here we have this very sleek lipstick in matte and glossy finish. So this is a velvety texture, shade 21 like a brick red. This reminds me of the Hourglass, I don't know what they're called, but similar vibe, like a skinny lipstick tube cut on the diagonal. Day six is in the corner. Here we have this tall box. Looks like maybe another full size. Oh, it's a travel of their Y Eau de Parfum. This is a cologne for men. I'm pretty sure, I feel like I've gotten this from my husband. Let's spray this. Oh, this is my favorite kind of cologne. It's a uh, more of a clean, barbershop scent maybe leaning kind of beachy but very clean like a clean musk oh my gosh this smells so nice i really like this great travel size this is a new one i think i appreciate the minis but the travel sizes are better for travel obviously it has a spray at the top it's slim better for plane travel airplane travel 
great for all the upcoming holiday trips. Then day seven, we have, oh, one of their Pure Shots. So this is the Pure Shots Night Reboot Serum. This says, this is energizing and resurfacing. So their Pure Shots skincare collection is great because they have different varieties depending on what your skincare goals and skincare concerns are. This is a bi facile of, I don't know, bi phase. You should shake this before you use it, shake it up. It's probably an oil, oil and serum. Then you pump it out. And it's like a runny oil liquid, very hydrating, meant to wear overnight. Day eight is this little box here. And we have, it looks like another lipstick tube. Oh, okay, it's another Pure Shots. I wonder why they do some in the boxes and some they just freewheel it, <laughs> okay? So day eight is another Pure Shots. This is the Hydra Bounce Lotions Essence. Yeah, it doesn't give you the instructions. Check out the instructions, but uh, Lotion Essence. Usually you put the essence after your toner before the cream, like whichever cream or a serum. There's no stopper here, so be careful, but this is the texture. It's like a like a gel, like a runnier gel texture. Okay, day nine is down here. And we have, oh, is this another full size? Okay, so for day nine, we have a full size of the Rouge Pour Couture, the bold color intense liquid in the shade 1971, Rouge Provocation. Let's see if this is a red. I have a feeling based on my limited French. Oh, that's so pretty. Full size lipstick. So it's kind of like the opposite of the mini we got on the first day. The colors are just flipped, but it's a full size. Let's open it up. And this is a darker. Okay. Yeah. This is like a blue toned red. I really need to wear more red lipsticks. I'll, I will try. I'm so used to nude. I love tinted lip balms. That's my favorite. So that's why my favorite YSL lip product is their Volupt and Shine or whatever it's called, because it's essentially a tinted lip balm. But, you know, these are okay colors so far. And it's a full size. Day 10 is up here. And we have another lip product. The YSL Advent Calendars have typically always been very... Oh, it's not a lip product. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say they're very lip product heavy. But in this case, we have a by phase Expert Makeup Remover Gentle by phase Top Secrets. Huh, interesting. I guess this is not their eye makeup remover. It's just a makeup remover in general. I think their eye makeup remover is blue. And that was the one that had leaked all over the first year I got this. So, I mean, I like their eye makeup remover. I guess this is an all over makeup remover. Okay, it says here, gently shake before use. A slight foam may appear, but this does not affect the efficacy. Okay, suitable for sensitive eyes and contact lens wear. Okay, so I, maybe this is the eye makeup remover, but it doesn't specifically say that. Okay, I'll try it out. Eye makeup remover is always have to be very gentle on me. I do wear contacts. I have sensitive eyes, so we'll, we'll test it out. If there's any burning, it's an immediate no for me. But in the past, I have liked their eye makeup remover. I don't know if this is the same one as I've used before, so we'll try it out. Day 11 is up here and we have, oh, my favorite, a full-size Rouge Volupt Shine Oil in Stick in the shade 121 Beige Satin, my absolute favorite and most used YSL product for sure. This is it. I hope they never change the formula or the package. I love this package. And here, I'll swatch this for you. It's like a tinted lip balm, very nude, but you can see the pigment once you put it on. I love the formula. It's so hydrating, so glossy. And my favorite part about this, and I've shared this before, and I need to do a separate video, but this YSL logo ring around here in the silver, once you're done with the Rouge Volupt in Shine oil and stick, pop off the bottom. You might need needle nose pliers, but you can remove this ring and you can wear it as a costume jewelry ring. It's kind of big on me. <laughs> so I need another ring to kind of hold it in place. But this ring fits around my thumb or you can wear it as a middle finger ring. It's so cool. You basically get a piece of costume jewelry for the price of this lipstick. I will do a whole separate video showing it to you, but I love this formula. I love the package. I love the free ring that's included with this. Day 12 is here in the center. And also wrapped up, we have this. Okay, we have a travel size of the Volume Mascara. And I don't remember how this wand looked. I recall liking the YSL Mascara. This isn't something that I would usually just buy on my own separately. I mean, I think it's fine in the travel size and it's part of an advent calendar. I don't remember, but I'll try it out. I'm not sure how the wand looks on this. 
I'll have to do a follow-up video. Day 13 is up here. Oh, we have another little box. Oh, my favorite. Okay, this is the Tuxedo. Tuxedo is part of the YSL Vestiaire colognes, perfumes. It's their more higher end fragrances and they all look like this. It's very just minimal, sleek, clear glass bottles. I like that the notes are right there on the label. So for this, we have patchouli, and Ipis, I don't know how to pronounce that. This is the one where I think it was Adam Driver is in the campaign for Tuxedo. But let's see, this is a very nice unisex cologne. I own a couple of the Vestiaire YSL fragrances like Blues and Jumpsuit, I think. Those are more rose, rosy notes. This is definitely more unisex, more masculine. I think this leans more masculine. And I think those, they're pretty pricey. I think they're around like two or 300. So it's nice to have a little mini bottle of Tuxedo here. This line of fragrances are part of the Vestiaire collection, meaning like your wardrobe of fragrances. So each fragrance is an item of clothing or it's named after an item of clothing. So the tuxedo, blouse or blouse, jumpsuit, you know, stuff like that. So very cute. Day 14 is here and we have another wrapped up boxy something. I think this is a lipstick. Okay, yes, another lipstick. Okay, so I guess this is their new packaging. I like it. I like the new design. It's raised. Even the travel size looks like that. Okay. So it's a Rouge Pour Couture lipstick. And again, I don't know the shade. <laughs> this one we have. Okay. You guys, I'm having problems seeing. So this one is definitely more of a blue based red. The other one is more of a brick. It's easier to see when you can compare it next to each other. Day 15 is down here. We have another wrapped up tube. It's another mascara. We have the Lash Clash Mascara. I don't want to open this again because with mascaras, especially with the travel size, once you open it, the time is ticking when it expires. I think you have about three months. We have a lot going on, so I want to use this when I travel, but I will try to remember to insert a picture comparing the Lash Clash to the other mascara, the Faux Sills mas Volume Mascara. Day 16, we have another tube of something wrapped up. This is a travel eau de toilette. This is the La Nuit de L'Homme eau de toilette. I have not tried this. Interesting. I like that they include a lot of men's colognes here. Hmm. I want to say this is a little more earthy, like more woodsy rather than the Y is more clean, refreshing. This is more rugged, I think. Day 17 is down here. We have a box. Oh, we have in this red box the YSL Or Rouge in the La Creme Essentielle. I guess it's a face cream. It doesn't specifically say if it's an eye cream. Oh, also red. I don't think I've tried this. This looks like they're very expensive skincare. Kind of like the Chanel. Is it the Chanel Prestige? That's gold. Oh, it's like an orange, orangey color. This smells very luxurious and it feels so silky and creamy. I have a feeling this is very expensive. I'll look up the price, but this is a 7 ml little pot of the Or Rouge. Day 18 is right here. We have another full size lip product. Oh, another of my favorite. Rouge Voluptin and Shine Oil and Stick in the shade 150 Nude Lingerie. I love that these are nudes because I usually wear this again like a tinted lip balm, so I would prefer a nude. Anyway, so here, Nude Lingerie. This shade Nude Lingerie is a little brighter than the beige satin from whatever other day. It's a pinky nude, almost like an orange. This is a nicer nude, like for the summer, spring, summer. So you have your winter nude and then <laughs> your spring, summer nude, I guess. I love that they include two in this one because again, you get the bonus YSL ring. So you have two rings with this advent calendar. And it also smells so good. I don't know if I mentioned this, the Rouge Voluptin Shine Stick. It smells so good. It's like fruity, it smells so juicy. Day 19, we have this wrapped up. And this is the Pure Shots Soft Polish Double Essence. I don't know if you can tell the bottle itself is also like this really pretty iridescent and matches my nails. I love, I love the color. So this is an essence. Just so you know, when you do your skincare routine, you start with your cleanser. If you do a double cleanse, then you start with a cleansing balm, then whatever other cleanser, foam cleanser, whatever. Then you do your toner, then your essence, and then your serum, and then your lotion, cream, and then oil if you want. So this is the Soft Polish Double Essence 
shake well before use. Let's see if it has a scent. I wish it had a stopper, especially because this is very liquidy, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it smells like very high-end skincare to me. <laughs> Day 20 is this bigger box up here. And we have, I think, a fragrance. Oh, okay, we have the Mon Perry fragrance. I posted a Mon Perry set that came with a mirror. That was so cute. It was a YSL mirror in the same holiday collection, like a compact mirror. The tie is so cute. It's like this little pleather <laughs> strings hanging off this bow. Very cute miniature version of the full size. This is a dab bottle opening. This smells so good. I don't know why I don't own this in the full size. This is a very pretty fruity floral. This is one of their more popular fragrances. Lieb is their modern one. This would make a great gift for like a mom or mother-in-law or something. Day 21 is right below it. Another Pure Shots. This is the Eye Reboot Concentrate. I am always trying out new eye creams, awakening and illuminating. So this would be a daytime morning eye cream versus a night eye cream. But I like that it has a little pump. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Creamy white lotion. Let me dab this under my eyes. Oh, very nice. Sometimes with eye creams, they burn your eyes. And it's like, why would you make an eye cream that burns your eyes? So if I feel an eye cream that burns, I immediately take it off and I just, I give it away. I can't use an eye cream that burns my eyes, but this is very soothing and cooling. Okay, I like this. Oh yeah, and it has caffeine. So anytime you see caffeine, awakening, brightening, I usually use that in the morning. Day 22 is down here. And oh, look at that flat it's white it's heavy i think this is a mirror oh my god oh i'm so excited oh look how cute so we have this ysl butte like a marble effect design on the one side and then a mirror a compact mirror on the other side i just mentioned that there was a mon Perry holiday set that included i think it was the full size mon Perry, uh travel size and then this compact mirror and i thought it was such a great value because i think it was the price pretty much of just the full size then you get the travel and then the mirror. And I was contemplating whether to get it just for the mirror because I think it's such a cute mirror. And yay, I'm so glad I have it now <laughs> from the advent calendar. Okay, good to know. Very cute mirror. It would have been nice if they had a little sleeve that this could go in because I can't really see putting this just in my purse. You know, it would get smudged and whatever, unless you have a purse that has a very slim pocket. I guess this would be a good mirror. Like if you are going out and you have a little evening purse or clutch, you can slide this in the little pocket. But I think this for now will live in my vanity drawer or maybe a travel bag, but very cute little mirror. Okay, 23, we are up to our penultimate day, 23. Uh, one of my favorites, the Lieb Perfume Eau de Parfum. And by now they've just released the newest flanker. It's like, I don't know what it's called, but it's the Le Parfum. It's a very sweet, like nectary Lieb. But we have the YSL Lieb. I love the bottle. The full size has the gold embossed sticking out, kind of like the lipsticks, and then it just wraps around the bottle. So it kind of does that with the mini, but this is just flat. But I like that they do the little cutout here. You have the gold necklace right there. This is a dab bottle. So you just tap, tap. This is such a cool scent. It just, the bottle looks cool. It's so architecturally, visually interesting. And then the fragrance, it just seems like it's so sophisticated and so elegant. I love this, love this fragrance. If you think this is a little too strong for you, check out the new one. I think it's called Le Parfum, but it's a silver bottle and it's so much sweeter, maybe fruitier, I think. So if you like that, check that up. And then for the 24th and final day down here, we have this large box. It is another one of the Slim Rouge Pour Couture in the shade 1966 Rouge Lieb. I feel like I set myself up to expect like some grand finale with these advent calendars and that's not always the case. The other day we had the Rouge Slim Velvet Radical so it had this matte because I guess it's a velvet texture and then it's got the black there. This one is a gold base so I don't know what the difference is. Oh this is leather matte lipstick so the color is a red kind of like a brighter orange red i don't usually prefer matte lipsticks i usually top it off with a gloss or something but if you like matte then that you know you got a nice option there leather matte interesting i've never heard of that they come out with these new formulations and it's like 
So scientific. Okay, so that is the finale. Day 24, we have Rouge Pour Couture, the slim leather matte lipstick in the shade 1966 Rouge Lieb. All right, guys, that is everything that was in the YSL advent calendar for 2023. Overall, I love the new design in terms of the new coloring. I just think it's very pretty. I love the snowflake. Oh, it's almost like a puzzle so you don't mix up the days. And then as far as the contents, I think it's getting a little pricey. <laughs> I don't even know what the US retail price is. But if this retailed for $350 last year, and then the difference in the Selfridges prices, so it's $275, they increased the price by $55. I wouldn't be surprised if this retails in the US once it launches in the US. It might be $395, $375, $399, $400. I just don't think it's worth over $400. I think it's really pushing the envelope there. But I like the little surprises. I love the little mirror. I think in the past they've had like brushes and stuff. And I like in general that they repackaged the lipsticks. So that's cool. I'd like to try these out. I like all the fragrances. I like that they're skincare. I also like that it's not as lipstick heavy as in previous years. Even though it does have lipsticks, they are, in my opinion, a lot more wearable. And then you have two full size of the Rouge Volup. You have other full size of the other lipsticks. So all in all, I think it's a great value for what I paid as far as the Selfridges price. We'll see what the full price ends up being. But I hope you guys enjoyed my YSL Advent Calendar unboxing. This is one of my favorites every year and I like it this year. I like what they did with it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.